Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons & Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment. All right. It's time for another episode of the Dr. Spell Prognosis. And today we are talking about the spell Calm Emotions. Um, I am giving this a... We're going to give this one a B. Um, and there's one th one particular reason in here that I'm giving this a B, um, and that's because it's a 20-foot radius, 60-foot range. Um, all right, so Calm Emotions, second-level spell that's usable by bards, clerics, Oath of Redemption Paladins, and the Archfey Warlocks. So uh, there's a few. It's not a lot of, of classes, but there are a few. This is kind of a niche spell, but not really... It is a spell that you can use if you want to kind of reset combat, kind of take a break, need to regroup, um, and do a strategic retreat, um, and then uh, come back and come in a little bit stronger. So a second level spell takes one action. has a range of 60 feet with a radius of 20 feet. That's a great... Uh, great, great, great uh, range, verbal and somatic. It is a concentration spell, but that's that. In this instance, that's this is one of the spells that I think you might want to have up and concentrating on. It lasts for a full minute. I wish it lasted longer. Um, and then it's enchantment, so it doesn't work on everything. It's a charisma save, which is the second best out of the mentals. The best one in the mentals, I think, is intelligence. Uh, there about half the creatures have a decent charisma and half the creature have a decent intelligence. So uh, you could argue one way or the other, but I, I think that an intelligence is if I'm a player and I'm trying to get something to fail a save, I would rather target intelligence. Um, but charisma is great. Don't get me wrong. It's great. And, uh, you can really trick that out. Um, so you suppress emotions in a group of people. So each, each humanoid, that's another problem. So that's a problem. So you can't use this on anything but a humanoid. So if you're far fighting a party of wyverns, too bad, so sad. So it only works on humanoids. So each humanoid in a 20-foot radius centered on a point, it would get a higher rating if it was not humanoids. Uh, on a 20-foot on a radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range must make a char charisma saving throw. A creature can choose to fail the saving throw if it wishes. The creature fails at saving throw. Choose one of the following two effects. I, and when I read choose, I'm reading not the creature chooses, but the caster chooses. And so you could cast this on, uh, a, you know, you could intermix this with your group members and enemies. And you could choose for your group members so that this you don't get the harmful effect. So you can suppress any effect causing a target to become charmed or frightened. Now, I wish that they would stop using the word creature, and I wish they would stop using the word target, and I wish they would use the word humanoid. That's the word that they chose at the beginning, and that is the target uh, that this spell works on. So um, if you've got allies who are charmed or frightened, and frightened and charmed are horrible conditions to have um, as a player. You don't want either one of those. Charmed means you're, you're not doing anything. You won't attack the thing that charmed you. And frightened means you can't go near it and you have disadvantage. Uh, so those are those are two horrible things. So you want to get rid of those. Uh, so you suppress them. And you suppress them for the time of the spell, which is one minute. And then when the spell ends, any suppressed effects resume. A lot of charmed or frightened effects last for a minute. So if you get this up, they're going to go away by the time this ends. Uh, alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it is hostile towards so you could say and again they use the word target they should use the word humanoid since they use that in the beginning of this so if you've got a baddie um well let's get let's get to the second sentence because the second sentence works into the strategy for using this so this indifference ends if the target is attacked or harmed by a spell or if it witnesses any of its friends being harmed. Now, um, 
you can make the target indifferent about creatures of your choice that is that it is hostile towards. So, so if it's got friends, you can't make it indifferent to it for its friends. So you make it indifferent only to things that are hostile, usually at your fellow party members. If it witnesses any of your party members attacking any of its friends, then the spell ends. Um, so when the spell ends, it becomes hostile again. So it's for a full minute. So if you are fighting a single powerful humanoid, or let's say two, and you're able to get both of them under the effects of this, then, uh, and you say, let's say you've been, you know, getting, getting your butts kicked. And you need time to kind of reset, and you need time to heal, uh, possibly summon some stuff um, to get some protective spells up. This is the time to do it. This is a spell that will allow you to kind of take that strategic retreat and to put that kind of stuff in effect. Because as long as this spell lasts, creatures that are affected by it are indifferent so if they i mean if they're not if they're indifferent they're not going to attack you um they're just gonna you know maybe go their own way and that's it and uh, and then you can catch up to them so and you have to be careful not to attack any of their friends you know but you you have to pick and choose when you use this spell so you can get the most efficient use out of it um again if you've got charmed or frightened uh party members and you've got one or two opponents this is a great spell to lay down so that you can get rid of that charmed or frightened effect and you can make those enemies indifferent to you. All right, uh, that's all I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.